Okay, for science today, we are doing a study guide because tomorrow is our test over all of the different animal systems, okay? Tomorrow's kind of a big test. We got a math test tomorrow and we got the science test tomorrow, okay? So, but this is going to be a study guide and we are going to go through it together and fill it out together so that we know the right answers so that you have a good study guide to learn tonight and to study with so that you are ready for the test. Sound good? So if you haven't already at home, pull up your study guide on Seesaw Animal System Study Guide, and I'm going to pass it out to them as well. Magna Doodle. Magna Doodle. All right, friends, here we go. Study guide. It says match the following. So the first thing there, and it lists all of our different systems, okay? The first one listed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it's got them all. Digestive system. So look over to the right. Which one of those definitions goes with digestive system? Lily already has her hand raised. Lily, what is it? She says it's the third one, which says this system consists of a long tube in which food is broken down into nutrients and organism can use. Yes. yes, you are correct. So draw a line from digestive system to that third blank. Okay. For the third answer. All right. Well, hurry up, Kaylee. Kaylee Koo. All right. Now, endocrine system. Endocrine. endocrine. That one was yesterday. You guys talked about the endocrine system Ooh. yesterday. Josie, which one is endocrine system? Uh, the last one. The last one, Josie says, this system secretes hormones into the blood to regulate life processes. Yes, endocrine system is your hormones, the adrenaline, the fight or flight thing. Did you guys know what I was talking about yesterday yeah. in the video, the fight or flight kind of feeling? Yeah, it's like run away or stay back in. Yeah, re your body kind of like gets amped up, like you're either ready to fight whatever's going on or deal with it head on or just run away. I'm the runaway person. Um, if you watched the video and Seesaw, I said I'm running away. I'm not dealing with no snakes or anything. Kendall Cole, the first one, digestive system, goes with the third one down. This system consists of a long tube. Okay. Sam Curley, yes, sir. I don't have it on my seesaw. You don't? Hang on. I thought I assigned it to you. Hang on just a second. Did it hit refresh, Sam, just in case? Okay. It's called Animal Systems Review. Hang on, I'm flipping over to your side. Oh, true fact, I did not assign it to you. Um, all right, hang on. Hang on. Assign to the great, the one and only, Mr. Samuel Hurley, the first. Okay, Sam, now hit refresh. You should have it now. Fiona, yes, ma'am. I know we did the digestive system. What was the second one? The second one, endocrine system, went with the very last one. The system, okay. All right, 
One more time. You guys got to be ready to go, okay? All right, digestive system is the third one down. The system contains the long tube in which food is broken down into the nutrients an organism can use. The second one, endocrine system, goes with the very bottom one, which is this system secretes hormones into the blood to regulate life processes, okay? Also, these answers are in your book, guys. These are vocabulary words that you should have written down. So if you miss one, ultimately, you should be able to figure it out on your own because we just spent two weeks learning all of this, okay? All right, next one, skeletal system. Grayson Jones. With the very top one. This system provides a solid framework for the body and also provides protection for some soft body organisms. That is correct. Skeletal system goes with the very first one, okay? All right, we drew that line. Now we are looking at respiratory system. Respiratory system, Maggie. Jason. Third from the bottom. This system provides gas exchange to help provide oxygen to an organism. So your respiratory system is your oxygen. It's your breathing. Okay. So it's the one that's third from the bottom. This system provides gas exchange to help provide oxygen to an organism. Third from bottom. Okay. Circulatory system. Josie. Um, the second one. The second one, this system helps to circulate blood, oxygen, and nutrients throughout the body. Yes, your circulatory system is your veins, basically, and your heart. Okay? Blood. Your heart, your veins, okay? Carries everything everywhere, all right? Muscular system, Zeke. He says the one in the middle, this system provides the power to, it should say produce, but it says product. The power to produce movement, yes. This system provides the power to produce movement, okay? Nervous system. You guys, again, learned about this one yesterday. Sam Curley. I didn't raise my hand. I had my hand raised for something else, and I didn't know that it went down. And I didn't know that it kept up. All right. Um, Kendall, are you raising your hand? Yes. All right, Kendall, give it to us. Nervous system, which one? Second to bottom. Second to bottom. Good girl. The system uses information from the senses to control other body systems. Good. So it's nervous system, your brain and your nerves that help you feel and help you sense things. Good. All right. So then the last one, excretory system. Sophie. The system that removes waste products from the body. Yes, it was the only one left, but also that was probably our most fun conversation. No. Yeah, well, as we talked about poop. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I keep. All right. So you are going to need to know which system is which for tomorrow. So make sure you study that. All right. Now, next part of it. The alveoli, bronchus and lungs. That's a big keyword there. Lungs are part of which system? Grayson. Respiratory. Respiratory is breathing. I saw that word lungs and I know they help me breathe. 
respiratory system. Number nine is respiratory system. Okay. Number 10. I'll give you guys a second to type that real quick. How do you spell it? All right. Uh, number 10. Josie, you ready for number 10? The bones are part of which system? Skeletal. Skeletal system. Good. Bones, yeah. Your skeleton. Skeletal system. Good. Number 10. Skeletal system. All right. Nephrons, which are those tiny little filters, like we made that filter experiment with the pepper water yeah. and the sugar water. Nephrons are part of the Zeke. Excretory. Nephrons are excretory system. They remove, they help remove some of that waste, right? Remember our pepper was like a toxin and it was bad for us, so they helped remove that. Okay. The esophagus, stomach, and intestines are part of which system? Sam. Okay. The digestive system. Yep. Digestive system. Good job. All right. So, yep, that was number 12 is digestive system. I can't tell what's going on. Okay. Um, adrenaline. We learned about this yesterday. Adrenaline. Grayson. Which one? I disagree. The other one we learned about yesterday. Um, Jason. Endocrine. Yeah. Endocrine system. Adrenaline is part of the endocrine system. Okay. Adrenaline is part of the endocrine system. All right, number 14, why is the muscular system important? Fiona, why is it important? Um, the muscular system <clears throat> is important because if you don't have your mu muscles, you won't be able to move. Exactly. High five. Without muscles, you can't move. You are um, just a bag of bones. It attacks the bones. Okay. Yeah, and they attach to your bones and they produce movement. Without muscles, you can't move. Perfect, Fiona. Thank you. Without muscles, you can't move. All right, number 15. Why is the nervous system important? Sean, why is the nervous system important? Okay, um, one reason when you're scared, it tells you to run away. Zeke, what else? Okay, your brain, that's what tells your brain to send signals to your muscles to move. Um, so your nervous system includes your brain. So it controls everything, everything. It helps you feel. Um, you wouldn't be able to do anything. In fact, your heart, your lungs, and all those other organs wouldn't be able to do their job if your brain wasn't running and telling them what to do, sending those signals, okay? So because your brain controls everything, um, nervous system, um, it helps you feel as well. Um, like we went to recess and we all felt that it was very cold outside today. 
Um, Sean is wearing shorts outside. Oh my goodness is right. It's a little intense. He did have a coat on, thank goodness. But I think it's a little chilly for shorts today. But that's okay. We love you anyway. He was running around. He was fine. Um, but it was definitely cold. Our nervous system told our bodies, it is cold out here. Do something about it. So they decided to spin in circles. And then they, and then our nervous system told them they were dizzy. Uh, number 15, why is the nervous system important? Your brain controls everything and it helps you feel. I mean, the brain is the big thing. You kind of have to have a brain to send signals. Brain controls everything. Um, and it, it sends signals and it also receives signals. Right. That work. Okay, and helps helps you move. Okay. Um, Lillers. Yeah. Yes. So Lily said when people say they hit their funny bone, isn't it really like a certain nerve that they're hitting? So there's that spot on your arm and they call it a funny bone, but we all know that it is not funny when you hit it no. at all. Um, yeah. It hurts. It hurts. Um, and it's just like a weird feeling. Like it's, it's kind of like a hurt, but it's kind of like a weird feeling. You're right. Um, and there is, there's a nerve that runs right along that bone. And if you hit it just right, that's what causes that feeling. It's it's because you're actually getting nerve. And then like certain people can like you have what's called pressure points, and it's where certain yeah. nerves are. Where people can like pinch you in a certain place, and you're just like, oh, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move. Or like, ouch, ouch. They can barely be touching you, but if they get you, but if they get you in that certain point, you're like, okay, 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 okay. Like I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> like, yeah. So you've got those different points, and they're actually different nerves in your body that people can actually press right on. Um, all right. I'm glad you not just pinching. Pinching just hurts because it's pinching. Um, okay, Josie. How I describe it is um, whenever you hit your funny bone, it for me it feels like a tiny little earthquake in your bone. Yeah, kind of like you can kind of almost feel it, like kind of like shake a little bit, like reverberate. Yeah. All right. Um, and then number sixteen. Doesn't have anything for you to fill out, but it says know this diagram. Let me give you a hint. Tomorrow, you are going to need to identify where one, two, three, and four go. Okay? Is it? So, starting at the bottom with number one. Oxygen poor blood is flowing into the heart. It's return. You could choose not to listen, but go in the hall if you're not gonna listen. We're not singing when Miss Bab is reviewing. Okay, nobody can hear. All right, so number one, oxygen poor blood flows into the heart. So the the oxygen poor blood means it doesn't have any oxygen left in it. It's empty of oxygen. It's coming back to your heart from the rest of your body. Okay. It Comes back to your heart. And then it, a heart pushes the oxygen poor blood back over to the lungs. Okay? So it's back over here. It's leaving the heart. And it's going towards the lungs. Okay? Then, once it gets in the lungs, it switches off. It drops off all the carbon dioxide it got from the body. And it grabs more oxygen. And then at number four, now it's oxygen rich blood again. And it's ready to get to the body so it goes back to the heart so that the heart can push it back through the body okay so make sure you know what order everything goes in so that you can label this diagram tomorrow okay all right now i am gonna see if you guys want to hold on i'm gonna stop the recording but you guys stay on okay so your big job for tonight this afternoon like I literally said, don't leave and DJ left. Um, 